Okay, so let's do in this uh, review in uh, 24 hours, the first ones, I can immediately tell you and just confirm that this is a beast regarding the performance, opening apps, reopening and RAM management. 8 gigs of RAM, carry 990. Check this out, this smoothness of reopening from the background in just. That is insanely fast. Can't wait to do the speed test against the OnePlus 7 series, uh, Huawei Nova 6 with a carry 990 versus Snapdragon A55+. Plus. Can't wait to do that. Check it out how smooth this is and fast it is. <sighs> mashallah, mashallah. So, anyway, let's go now and show you the benchmarks. Here going just, this is the Geek, Geekbench 5. So this device has a Kirin, Kirin 990 octa-core chip clocked at 2.86 with the Mani G76 16-core GPU. Let's go now and show you the Antutu score. This is the Antutu score, 480,000, almost a half million of points over the Antutu. That is crazy, crazy high just. But again, when the Snapdragon A65 goes on the sale, probably that chip will have maybe 550,000, my prediction. Just anyway, uh, 128 gigs of storage, good enough. This is the base model with 128 gigs of storage. Uh, and lack of SD card support is a letdown. Lack of SD card support is a letdown. This is the GFX bench regarding the GPU score, so you can judge by yourself. Fingerprint sensor is on the side, has all the uh, major sensors which you need, which we're gonna test just in a minute. Let's find here the device information and show you regarding the sensors. Yes, it does have accelerator, light, proximity, magnometer, gyroscope, you name it. And we're going to go through the memory and system and SOC a little bit. You can just pause this video if you are interested in the device information HW.